Hi there. I'm Wendy, and I'm the G2 director at Foothills Bible Church in Littleton, Colorado. And our staff has been posting some Facebook devotionals with the hope of encouraging each one of us and keeping us all connected during this pandemic time. We have really missed seeing everyone in person so much, and we are really anxious for the time when we can gather together again. But for now, we're doing this with the hope of keeping in touch with what we've got. Last time we met here, I, well, here, I talked about using this time of quarantine as an opportunity to ask the Lord of what it is that keeps you and I from walking out in freedom. In other words, if we really trust in the fact that the Lord has provided a way, a better way for us to live, then what is it really that keeps us stuck? Now, I know the answer to this question can be really, really big and require a lot of thought and work, but I just want to give a few quick thoughts about what next steps to take or what to do with that answer. An answer, like just give it to the Lord, may be a good answer, but I personally think there's a lot more to it than what that statement makes it seem like. So let's break this down again. Here's what we know. Through Christ, we are no longer slaves to the things that keep us from experiencing life to the full. However, sometimes the very things we continue to do are the very things that we want to get rid of but just can't seem to shake. At this point, I want to say, if this sounds like you, you're in a huge room of company. In fact, Paul, the author of the book of Romans, said of himself in chapter 7, for I do not do the good that I want, but the evil I do not want is what I keep on doing. There is a war within each one of us. The great news about this is that because there's a war means that we have a choice to make. Once we identify what exactly it is that keeps us in bondage, we can then ask ourselves a big question, why? I think this is a very important question to ask of yourself and then also turn to the Lord and ask him to give you wisdom and insight into this very question of why. Take a page from Paul's playbook. Why is it that I keep on doing what I know that I do not want to do? Listen then for the answer. Be honest with yourself and with the Lord. Journal your thoughts and trust that the Lord will give you insight into your own being. James tells us in his book, if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given to him. This includes questions about yourself. Don't worry. The Lord will be honest with you. This I'm quite sure of. Next time, we will take the next step into freedom from what stops us into enjoying abundant life. Have a great day and I can't wait to be with you again. Bye now.